Hello dear friends of the folder sheet, today I will fold the box with lid. I recommend using a little stronger paper like scrapbook paper and you'll need two sheets. They need to be squares and besides that it doesn't matter much how large they is or what you use. So for the bottom of the box we fold the whole thing in half and fold in 4x4 four four grid. So in half in the one way and then in the other. I recommend using single color paper, but so you can see better, I use dual color. And as you already noticed, I folded the quarters and repeat that in the other direction too, so we get our 4x4 four four grid. Now open it up and fold up the corners, one of the squares, so corner to the first intersection of the creases and fold the bottom up. Now turn the whole thing over and fold the bottom corner to the middle, like this. Along this side too, so you fold to the middle line, turn it again and fold the bottom corner to the middle again. Not quite to the center, but along to the middle line. So point to point. Now what we'll do is re we'll reverse that fold here. You see those two. So the side here has a pocket and now we see that here the flap can go into this pocket here, like this. Same thing on the other side, make this pouch and tuck the flap into the big pocket here. Okay, now the folding is done, just pull and you have the bottom of the box, recrease the creases and shape the box a little. There you go, time for the lid. Second sheet and again we fold the 4x4 grid. I speeded that up a little because you already know the steps. Be sure to fold precise so everything fits together nicely. And now the quarters. Just like you did for the bottom of the box. Okay, now is what differs. We fold diagonally and you just need to crease the corners here and one that is the neighbor to the one where you just made a crease. Just fold the first quarter and make sure that crease goes really through the corner and not besides it. So here and there and now we take the bottom again and fold the corners in. As we did before, the only difference is that we have those diagonal creases on top. So There we go. And now we fold the bottom in half before we fold it up again. So there you go. And now fold it like a cupboard together. 
and now we crease here and there. For those who are similar or familiar with the windmill base, will recognize this step. It's a squash fold on two sides, but with the pre creases we did, it nearly folds itself. Now we do the same thing again to make the lid stand out like this, here and there. Make sure that the creases here are really precise, otherwise it might be tricky to get the box to close and just make sure that everything is arranged nicely. Now those tips here, fold them in, those will be tucked into the bottom of the box to connect the two parts. So now fold it in half and reinforce the crease there, that is why we did the whole collapse thing and pull it out again. So that is the lid, here you can see the hinge. So just tuck it in, in the left and the right and here you can see that it doesn't quite go in there, that's because the layers did stick together. Just work your finger in instead of pushing like I did. You just need to here with a thumb make sure that all layers are through all the way and then help the box a little for the first time. And if it's not clothing rightly, it's usually because here a little paper is standing over. Like here, for example. So you just fold it backwards and then you can usually see that it's standing over. And if that's a problem because you use stronger paper, just cut it off. I use thin paper so that's not a problem. But like, for example, here I used scrapbook paper and glued a nice patterned paper on top. And you see that really sticks together well. Just proved it not no glue, no nothing. And this box is really nice. I use it as a container for my tea bags. What do you use it for? What do you plan to do with it? Please tell me in the comments. And if you like this video and want to see more like this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel or just click one of the annotations and watch another box instructional video. And of course there's my homepage heavensorigami.com where you can download loads of diagrams and see more about my folding and stuff. So see you around next time. Bye bye.